Peggy 16. Hello, my name is Keith Lee, and I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. Today, you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress, and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's next generation console. Please enjoy. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying moment-to-moment -moment combat, and robust loot progression systems. You can enjoy the game at your own pace, playing alone, or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the elemental realms of earth, water, air, and fire. Godfall is a complete package. All loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. There are no microtransactions, no waiting for content. It's all in the game on day one. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight, a godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. Our game is therefore one part gear driven and one part player skill driven. In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, there are five weapon classes. The longsword, the dual blades, the polearm, the two-handed warhammer, and the two-handed greatsword. Each weapon class has their own unique movesets and playstyles ranging from fast combos to more strategic, deliberate play. As you defeat enemies in your adventures, you will acquire numerous weapons. For each weapon category, each weapon with their own primary and secondary traits. At a later date, we will delve into the weapon classes and how to modify them in greater detail. For now, we'll go over the dual blades and the longsword weapon classes. The dual blades are the fastest weapon class in Godfall, embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. You can perform a combo by executing four consecutive light attacks. The Dual Blades Heavy Attack is a spinning Blade Cyclone. The Blade Cyclone can also be used as a finisher at the end of your Light Attack combo. So what are the signature moves for the Dual Blades? As you build up charge, 
You can also activate Inner Focus, which is unique to the Dual Blades, which inflicts massive damage in a short period of time. There's also Mortal Coil, where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you, like pulling a cable. Now let's switch to the Longsword Weapon class. Longswords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns without needing a lot of elaborate combo setups. Similar to dual blades, longswords have their own 4-hit light attack combo. Then there's the heavy attack finisher, which can be used at the end of your light attack combo. There are three signature moves for the longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in a straight fixed path. Notice there's a white flash after a longsword swing called a timing attack. If you press the shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your longsword. The shield is a core part of Godfall. It's available to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry an attack. You can perform a light attack after a last second shield block to counter attack with a powerful shield strike. The shield is great not just for defense, but also offense. You can aim and throw your shield, which will hit multiple nearby targets. If you tap the shield button just as you catch your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. You can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. And of course, you can perform an R3 ground finisher on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. We hope you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running on the PlayStation 5. We also want to thank all the fans for their endless support since our initial reveal back in December. We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you. Station.